So, good morning. I am back with another unboxing. And today, I am unboxing the new IOD ST400. This is the upgraded replacement. So, well, technically it's not a replacement. This is a new product. So, but this is going to upgrade my IOD Mini, which I have done a review on previously. Now, what is the difference between the ST400 and the Mini? Well, the Mini is small, as you can see. So the Mini currently has a, I think it's a 256 gig M2 SATA SSD in there. And it is specifically SATA. So I have slightly broken mine, so I can open it a bit easier. Not that I broke it. But to make it easy, I just dropped it too many times. Um, ah, see if we can get this open. So inside, it has a, as you can see here, so it's an IOD branded M2 SATA SSD. And it's a 256 gig SSD module in here. To 2242 SSD. Now this is replaceable, so you can easily take this out and replace it with a bigger M2 SSD if you wanted. Um, but that came in the box as a 256 gig. Now the other issue with this is the fact that this is a micro USB. Whatever the whatever that power connect or that connector is now, I think it's USB three. Yeah, it is USB three, but it's that type of connector. I don't know if you can see that properly there, which is a pain in the ass because you need to find a cable that supports that. All right now, this is where the ST four hundred comes in. Now, this literally arrived in the post two minutes ago, so. Let's see if we can explain what's in here. So this is the ST400. It's a SATA 3 SSD, which is not included, which I'll go into in a bit. It's a USB-C Gen 1. Um, USB-C Gen 1 port. So it says it's... I don't know if it says it here. No, yeah, there it is. USB 3.1 super speed at uh, 5 gigabits a second so it's got all the same features as the last one so essentially bootable virtual uh, optical disk drives so blu-ray cd and dvd isos uh bootable virtual vhds so you can have um windows to go or um a vhd with some storage on it or whatever and they seem to be buildable as well so in theory you could have a usb drive or a vhd that's on here that has a working windows installation that you can plug into a new machine and be good to go <coughs> excuse me um so you could potentially boot this off like do whatever you need to do so the windows to go there's help there's a new ui set up for this which i don't know how different this is going to be and then inside you've got the body itself a c to a cable cable by one or a c to a type cable by one a pouch and a quick start guide so let's open this up here as I've just dropped the bloody thing on the floor. Bear with me. Blah. Right. Aha. Okay. So, in the box, you have your USB, so A, to see how you have the pouch that they said was in here you've got a quick start guide with a qr code a couple of 
QR code, and then you've got the device itself. Now, the device itself. Let's have a look at the device itself. So, compared to the IOD Mini, the screen seems to be about the same size. Interesting. You've got your buttons on this side. They seem to be a bit bigger. The buttons on the IOD Mini are plasticky. I mean, you can, well, they're rubbery and clicky. On this one, they're flicky, but they're not rubbery. They have all the same features that is on there. You got your USB-C port. You nothing on the top, one on that side, and nothing under there. Okay, let's have a look and see how we open the back of this. Okay. So the back just pushes off. So it's I don't know if you've ever bought portable hard drive enclosure before, but Okay, so I was wrong. This is a bit harder. Get off them. There we go. Right, it does clip. But uh, the back comes off somewhat simply. And then you've got the inside. And in here you've got your connector for your SSD. So it will take a standard two and a half inch SSD which I do have them float around here somewhere I just have to go digging for it where the hell I have everything else up here ah SSDs I have a load of SSDs up there okay so um yes so I do have SSDs give me a sec let me actually grab one of these Okay, so these are crucial PX100 SSDs. They are quite old, and God only knows if they actually still work. But to get one into the machine, let's see if I can put this in. I'm recording this on my GoPro. So this seems to just on the slot in there. And then you get your cover or you get your top. And slide that in place. If I had done it right, it would have just slid it into place. Um, yeah, actually, here it is. It is it. And then that's it. So there is a peel. And that's, so that's the unboxing, out-of-box experience. I'm setting this up. I will do a second video in a while, um, where I'm going to transfer the contents of my iOD Mini. So I have a few ISOs and everything else. I'm going to transfer the contents of my IOD Mini onto the ST400. There's not encrypted on this, so I don't have to worry about decrypting stuff and then re-encrypting it or anything like that. I haven't set up the encrypted part of this just yet. Purely from a point of view of I didn't need it. It's got ISOs for built machines and everything else. So that's all I had on there. But, no story boring. I'll do a quick video in a while, knowing contents from here to here, and um, I'm going to do some speed tests. Somebody complained that I didn't do any speed tests on the iOD Mini when I got it first. 
Um, my last overview video did not have any speed tests. Um, I did explain in the comment that, well, it's going to depend on the SSD that you have in it. And given that you can swap the SSD. Um, and it will also depend on the performance of, or making sure that you actually have the right USB 3 cable and like. Um, I do have the correct cable and I do have some other stuff. So I will do a benchmark of the SSD that's in this. I'll do a benchmark on this one. I do have some actual better SSDs that I might swap in as a test. Um, they are destined for a server, but they are spare. They're spare for the moment, so I can try one of those. Ah, I know where my Samsung went. Out of five hundred and twelve gigs, Samsung that has gone into that little box there. But that's why I couldn't find it up on my up on my shelf of random things. Um. So, okay, so that's been a quick unboxing of the IOD ST400. I'm going to put some links to both the IOD Mini and the ST400 uh, affiliate links in the show notes for them. Um, if you have any questions, leave a comment. And um, yeah, I will have a, a bit more of an in-depth video review or at least some performance numbers. In the next couple of days hopefully um like subscribe comment all that usual jazz and um i will see you in the next one good luck